Hello everyone and welcome back to my show. My name is Erica and we're cooking in my small kitchen again and we got a nice new setup. I pushed my dining room table over here so I can present better or something like that. I've been seeing a lot on Facebook and YouTube about making your own pizza in a cast iron skillet. Well, as you see in my header, I got one right here. So I really want to try that out and see if I can make a nice crispy pizza inside of this here cast iron pan. Now one thing that I've seen on my research of cast iron pizzas is that you have to preheat your oven to like 500 degrees. And when you do that, your kitchen also becomes 500 degrees. So I saw a video by Adam Ragusia. I think that's how you pronounce it. He started his pizza dough on the stovetop and then finished it inside of the broiler. So that's what I'm gonna do so I don't have to be in a hell of a kitchen. Voila. In Adam's video, he actually made the dough from scratch. Now, I don't feel like doing that today, so. I found this here rollable pizza crust. I never used this before, so we'll see how that goes. So the cornmeal we're gonna put on the bottom of our pan so that the crust doesn't stick, at least hopefully, and that's what I'm hoping. I got some oil for that as well. And we gonna season the bottom of our pizza crust. And because y'all know that I like garlic, I'm gonna do some garlic powder on there. Pre-made pizza sauce, pepperonis, pizza blend, Kroger brand, shredded mozzarella, and smoked flavored provolone parmesan romano cheeses. Yeah, so you want to make sure you get a low moisture cheese um, so it doesn't make your pizza all greasy. And then I got some sliced olives to put right up on there. Let's get started. <laughs> So like I said, I'm going to use some pepperoni for our toppings. And pepperoni tends to be a little bit on the greasy side. So what I'm going to do, so that I don't have a big old soggy mess, I'm going to pre-cook the pepperoni a little bit in another pan to kind of get some of that grease out. And hopefully that will result in a less puddly pizza. So I have my skillet on a high-low, and you want to spread your pepperoni evenly over the pan. This is a thing to do, right? Kind of pre-cook your pepperoni? I'm going to say it's a thing. We just want to sweat the pepperoni, like we're all going to do once we look at our credit card bills from all the bored online shopping we've been doing during this quarantine. Uh, so now I think is a good time for me to throw it on some napkins to really let a lot of that grease kind of fall out. And I'm going to put that aside and start on our crust. So we're going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the cast iron pan. Then gently caress it with a paper towel and cover the pan in the oil. Sprinkle a bit of your cornmeal on the pan and gently try to spread it evenly with a paper towel. Now for my pizza crust, another one of these. It really is a phobia, these things. I have never used or opened a whole can of pizza dough before. This is what you get. Um. Let me try to figure this out here. Okay, well, it comes in a square. Um, I should have known that. So I'm just gonna... Oh, I forgot to season my pan. Well, I'm just gonna season the crust then. <laughs> We're gonna try and lay this crust out evenly in the pan and try to make it into somewhat of a circle by pulling off the corners and kind of sticking them back on here and there. This is going to be a very doughy pizza. Um, if I had a bigger skillet, it probably would be better. Um, I, I, I don't know how big this one is. I want to say it's like a 9 or 10 inch. There's going to be a lot of dough. 
And next, because I forgot to season the bottom of the crust, I'm going to brush some olive oil on top of it and sprinkle my garlic powder over it. I was actually struggling with that a little bit because um, my hands are all greasy from working with the dough. So that was actually pretty impressive. Scoop a good amount of pizza sauce over the dough and spread it evenly around and make sure to get those edges too. Because we don't want dry edges. So now we're going to sprinkle that cheese over the sauce. and I really like cheese, so I'm probably going to go a little bit overboard with it. Now we're going to lay some of those thoroughly sweated pepperoni slices over the top. That's a lot of ronies on there. And we're going to finish it off with a sprinkling of your olives. It's looking like a pizza. Looking like a pretty good pizza to me. According to Adam, uh, you just turn on your stove to a medium. And everybody's stove is different. I have a fire burning stove, gas burning. Um, and I've never done this before, so we're learning together here. So I'm going to turn it on a medium. He said it was about seven to eight minutes on his stove or something like that. I'm going to cook it about that much too and see where we're at. I know my crust is a lot thicker than the one that he was using, so I think it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to get my broiler preheated. It's about to get real toasty in here. Alright, so it's been about eight minutes, and I still don't know if it's quite done, <laughs> or where it needs to be. Uh, so I'm going to throw this under the broiler and finish it off under there. Alright, here we go. The top of the crust looks really good. <laughs> it looks like it's cooked, but I don't know. Uh, so he says to let it sit and cool down and it should just lift out of the pan. Hopefully I cook this long enough, we'll see. I think because I pre-cooked the pepperoni a little bit, they're looking a little bit dry, but you definitely don't have a big puddle of grease on there. Be very careful with this cast iron pan right now because it is probably very hot. All right, so I'm gonna try to lift this up. Oh, it's looking like pizza. It is? It is just kind of coming out of the pan. This is this is so cool. I may have cooked it too long on the stove. The bottom's a little bit crispy, <laughs> but at least it'll be cooked, right? Look at this. Oh, that looks like a big old deep dish pizza. The, the bottom's not too bad. It's. It's okay, we can deal with this. But I'm actually pretty impressed. This looks like a good fluffy pizza. It's probably gonna be mostly dough with the dough that I bought. Um, but it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna like wait for that to cool down and kind of crisp up a little bit. And then I'm gonna dish it up and we'll be eating soon. It worked! I didn't have to put my cast iron inside of the oven and get it to like 500 degrees and mess with a 500 degree, like, pan. It, it turned out a really good pizza! I mean, it looks really good. I did burn the bottom a little bit. So I need to adjust that the next time I make it. So maybe instead of, uh, I think I did 8 minutes, I would cook it at five or six minutes, but I was really concerned of that dough not cooking all the way, and it looks fully cooked in that short of time. So the only one way to really find out is to take a bite of this. I'm kind of geeking out right now. This is a really good pizza. Oh my gosh. Even if the bottom's a little bit crispy. Yeah, this is a really good, like, same kind of pizza that you'd get out of a stone oven almost.
This is a great easy recipe and quick way to make a nice crisp pizza at home. Oh my gosh, other than just, you know, buying one and putting it in an oven. Well, if you want to try to make a cast iron pizza, this is a pretty good way to do it. If you have a, a gas burning stove, cook it a little less than I did. Well, if you like this episode, do all the things that YouTubers ask you to do and press a like over there and press uh, subscribe over there if you want to see more. And if you have anything that you want me to try, go ahead and leave a little comment down below. If you like my outfit, you could also leave a comment down below. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this episode of Erica's Small Kitchen, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Pizza. Mm.